Hi, welcome back to another episode of Isilon Quick Tips. In today's episode, I'm going to show you how to enable FTP on your Isilon cluster. So get ready to follow along. So to enable your FTP access, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to our protocols and go to our FTP settings. And so as that page loads up, you can see that we only really have four options here. And the first option is just to enable the FTP service. That's something that doesn't come default enabled, but you see that I already have it checked here. So now I know that I've enabled the FTP service, and so now I can move data back and forth. There are a couple different options here in the settings. One of them I want to point out is the enable anonymous access. And that's something that 95% of the time you're not going to want to set that up. But if you wanted to set that up, this is where you would do it. And so after we have that set up, let's go back and look at our members and roles. And I just want to show you the account that I'm going to be using. So I'm going to be using my file system account settings and this user admin here. In your environment, you might have Active Directory, which you can access your FTP users for there. You just have to make sure you use your full domain name. But I'm going to use this admin account here. Now we just need to pull up an FTP client. So I'm going to use WinCP, but you're able to use anything you want. I'm going to put in our host name. And I'm going to use an IP address because I don't have my Smart Connect zones or my DNS server set up on my local machine here. In most cases, you're going to use that Smart Connect name here for your host name. And then once we're logged in, we're going to move over our slide PowerPoint here. And I'm going to put that just in the IFS directory. And now we're going to verify it just in our IFS share here. And we can see that, yes, in the IFS directory, we have our slots. And so our data was able to move over using our FTP service. So this is how to enable FTP on your Isilon cluster. Just remember, all you have to do is enable that FTP. And then those users can log in using their own credentials. In a future episode, I'll cover some more options around the FTP service and some of the things that you can customize on it. Thanks again for tuning in to Isilon Quick Tips, and make sure to subscribe so you never miss an episode.